Hey everyone! So recently I got a request to recreate the adjustable leash that I have for my dog Hobbs. This thing right here, you can adjust how long it is by changing the little carabiner thing. Oh, I bought this one but I figured I could try my hand at making one and I thought I'd show you guys how you can make one too. So let's get started. You'll need two lengths of nylon straps, however long you want. Keep in mind that the shortest the leash can be is half of the total length. I made mine about six foot long, so the shortest I could make it is three foot. Heavy duty polyester thread. Make sure to get the heavy duty stuff because you don't want the stitches to break and the leash to fall apart while you're walking your dog. A metal swivel hook that fits the size of the straps, a carabiner, a lighter, and scissors. One of the straps that I got was slightly thinner than the other because I was trying to mimic how the original leash looked. The thinner strap, however, did not feel as durable as the wider strap, so I was slightly concerned about how strong the leash would be. It ended up being totally fine, but if your dog is a big puller and you want the leash to be as strong as possible, I'd suggest maybe sacrificing that small design element and just getting two of the thicker, more durable straps. Cut the ends of your straps and, with a lighter, run the flame along the edge to seal it. Since these straps are made of nylon, the frayed end will melt and prevent it from fraying more. Be sure not to let the flame linger in one spot too long. You don't want it to catch on fire. Thread the swivel hook onto the straps about 2 inches. Fold the straps over and sew in place. You want to make sure that this spot is sewed down really well. I sewed a big rectangle, doubling up the stitching on these sides. From this stitch, measure out 3 inch increments down the leash until you've reached the end. Sew a line of stitches at each mark. Skipping the last one. Fold the last 2 or 3 inches of strap over and sew down. You want this end to be sewed down really well too. Again, I sewed another rectangle, leaving about a half inch loop at the end. Then just thread your carabiner through the loop, and now you're done! All you have to do is hook the carabiner onto any of these sections of leash to adjust the length. I was pretty happy with how it turned out. It doesn't feel as strong as the original, but I'm pretty confident that this one can withstand Hobbs' strength. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like. If you want to see more, then feel free to subscribe. I post art videos every Tuesday and DIY videos every Thursday. You can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, or Pinterest, and I'll leave the information to those down below. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please leave a comment down below, and I'll see you next week.